genius husband is going to sell them 155 old bangers as brand new luxury cars. But that's not fair. The cars will break down. What's about the Russians? Fair! Listen to the boy. Fair does not get you anywhere, you thick-headed twit brain. All I can say is thank heavens Michael's here and hence inherited his old man's friends. Hey, son.
Oh, Matilda, your parents must be so proud to have a girl as clever as you. And do you tell them stories like you tell me? Oh, I love your stories, Matilda. That's a hint, by the way. <sighs> Once upon a time, the two greatest servants performers in the world, an escapologist and an acrobat, fell in love and got married. They performed to one of the most incredible Kings, queens, celebrities, and astronauts. But not just to see their skill, but also to see their love for one another. Which was so deep, it was said that cats would purr as they walked by, and dogs would weep with joy. Maybe it seems a beautiful art. And, although they loved each other, they were sad.
children, my name is Miss Honey and today is a very special day. Your first day at school. Now, can anybody read this? Me, me, oh I got miss, me, me, miss, me, me, me. Very well. Nigel? <laughs> I think we can leave it there, Nigel. We don't want you to burst a blood vessel on your first day. That Um, no, but tomato is a very good word. Matilda? I can now read words. So, Matilda, you can read words? Well, I need to be able to read words when I can read sentences. Because sentences are basically just a big bunch of words. And if I can't read sentences, well, I've got no chance with books. And have you read a whole book yourself? More than one. I love books. Last week I read quite a few. A few? What books did you read? Nicholas Nickleby, Oliver Twist, Jane Eyre, Lord of the Rings, Crime and Punishment, and and the Cat in the Hat. Stupid, nasty, 
manufacturing mistake. So you lied? Of course I lied. And they didn't believe you? Of course they didn't believe me. I've got green hair. Oh, I've got hair. What's this? Another flaming book? What's wrong with the telly? No, it's a lovely book. Honest, I think it is. what I think of your No, lovely. it's a library book. <laughs>
when he wakes up. Oh, is it time for school yet, Mum? What? What am I doing here? This isn't my bedroom at all. Oh, hello, Miss Trunchbull. Where is the maggot known as Amanda Thrip? What have I told you about wearing Oh. 
up here. I'm dying for the next part of the story. I haven't slept a wink. Miss Belts, where's your revenge section? What? Is there a child at school who's behaving like a bully? Not a child, exactly. Would you like to hear the next part of the story? What are we waiting for? As they prepare themselves for the most dangerous feat that has ever been performed, the acrobat gave her husband a kiss. Smile, we have said this a thousand times. First, I escape the cage, lean out, catch with one hand, grab the fire extinguisher with the other, and put out the flames in a specially designed dress before they can reach the dynamite to blow your head off. <sighs> Sorry, go on. The trick started well. The moment the dress was set alight, the acrobat swung into the air. She hurled over the sharks and spiky objects. Suddenly, the paddock pinged open and the huge chains fell away. The Eskimologist reached out to grab her, her wife and the child. I can't watch. The Eskimologist grabbed her hand and they were both covered in foam before they could be blown to pieces. So the story does have a happy ending? No. No? The Eskimologist used just a touch too much just a touch too much foam. The hands became slippy and she fell. Did she survive? She broke every bone in her body, except for the ones on the ends of her little fingers. She lived long enough to have their child. Love our Lord with all your heart, and she is all we have ever wanted. And then she died. And then things got worse. Worse? No, Matilda, things can't get worse. I'm afraid they did because the escapologist was so kind. He never blamed the evil aunt for anything that's happened. In fact, he asked her to move in with her, to have a look after the little girl. But she was nothing but cruel to the little girl, beating her, even if she didn't do anything wrong. Let's call the police. Miss Felt, it's just a story. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I, I'd better go.
for being a filthy little tenant. These are tenants, aren't you, Bog Trotter? Yes, Miss Honey. Bog Trotter here is now a good tenant. Sit. Miss Honey, you believe in kindness and fluffiness and books and stories. That is not teaching. To teach the child, we must first break the child. Miss Trunchbull, no one was speaking. Miss Honey, when I say quiet, two maggots, you are entirely included in that statement. Where is my jug of water? I'll get it, Miss. Stupid girl. Look at you. Flabby. Disgusting. Revolting. Revolting, I say. I think it's time we toughened you all up with a little fizz end. Be 
same thing in your head as red means in my head when someone says red. I'm not sure, but I wonder if inside my head I'm not just a bit different from some of my friends. These answers that come into my mind unbidden, these stories deliver to me fully written. And when everyone shouts, they just seem to like shouting, and the noise in my head is incredibly loud. And I just wish they'd stop my dad and my mum, and the telly and the stories would stop for just once. I'm sorry, but I'm not quite explaining it right. But this noise becomes anger, and anger is light, and this burning inside me would usually fade. But it is here today, and the heat and the shouting, and my heart is pounding, and my eyes are burning, and suddenly everything, everything is quiet, like silence, but not really silent. Just that nice kind of quiet. She presented me with a bill that said I had to pay her back for all those years she looked after me. 
And she made me sign it so that I pay her back every penny. She even presented a document that said that my father had left her the entire house. But you don't think you just do that? Give her the house? I can't believe it. Just like I can't believe that he killed himself. That's what she said happened. You think she did it, man? Don't you, Miss Honey? I cannot say, Matilda, but all I know is that years of being bullied by that woman has made me, well, pathetic. Let's call the police! Matilda, we can't! Besides, we have no evidence and she's a much well respected. Who is she? I can't say. Who is she? Matilda, I... Miss Honey, who is she? She's, um... She's Miss... Miss... Miss Trunchbull. Run! 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 
letter. It said that my parents' will had turned up and that I was now the owner of a beautiful house once owned by my evil aunt, one Agatha Trunchbull, who was never to be seen again. The, the trophies were immediately destroyed and a new head was just to go over. And her name was Miss Honey. And it was often said that it was the best school in all the land. Matilda was never able to move things with her eyes. She said it was because she had no need for her superpowers anymore, but she was still stuck with her parents who were cruel and called her names. Yes, they found each other. 